What's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit. Oh, shit. I'm Bandit Barney, bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online. Thank you so much for the recent support. Truly appreciate it. If you end up liking this video and haven't subbed already, don't forget to subscribe. Today, we're going over one of the only loot glitches that I've ever come to know of. And when I say loot glitch, I don't mean something where you reload a lobby and loot again. No, this is an actual uh, glitch where the loot just keeps spawning in. You don't need to change lobbies so you can maximize out on that loot very quickly. And the upside here is that we're going to be getting Horse Reviver, which if you guys don't know is something that at the, I mean, you probably know this, but you're going to end up using this a lot because basically the insurance on your horse doesn't do anything really like it, it, your horse still gets killed and you still have to wait for it to come back from the vet you just don't have to pay that vet bill each time this horse survivor well horse survivor is effective because you don't need to wait that two minutes general uh sometimes it can be four minutes for your horse to come back after it's been killed and what you want to do is open up your map go down to new austin and you're gonna go northwest of tumbleweed and right in here i'm sorry i put my uh horse there so you can't see this building as well but right under this uh chola springs you're gonna see this building right here and you're just gonna go up to this building and right here at the bottom of it is oat cakes and horse survivor two things that are very beneficial for your horse now normally if this was another loca location loot location we would just grab that and dip and I'll show you another area later in this video where you can get more things for your horse but in this specific location all you have to do Grab that stuff, and then you're going to ride out southwest. You're just going to follow this road right across the train tracks into the signpost uh, crossroads. So we can see the train tracks right here. And right past this group of horses is this signpost. All you got to do, ride right past the signpost, and then flip a bitch, and head right back in. And this is the only location that I know of where the loot is just going to respawn when you do this. You don't have to wait through the loading screens or anything like that. And honestly, if we could sell Horse Survivor, this would, for the same value that it costs to buy it, this would be the best money making location in the game. You can't do that, unfortunately. You can't sell the Horse Survivor at equivalent value. So. This is just really good to get it and have it. You can get your stacks of it, and you don't have to worry about when your horse gets down, if you're getting griefing or something like that. The plus side here is that, I mean, in reality, the spot wouldn't be very good if we had to load lobbies because there's only those two things. You can't go into the house that's there, and you can't, There's that's really the only two things to loot there. But since we don't end up loading lobbies, this is the best location to get Horse Survivor um, for your horse. And it's not something that you're going to need to do all the time, right? We don't need constant supplies of Horse Survivor. But if you come to this spot and you just get yourself set for a little while, you're not going to need Horse Survivor again. And then I, I, I don't know if Rockstar is going to look to patch this. The, it, this area functions like it, unlike any other area because most areas the loot doesn't just respawn like this but it's super convenient here to get the horse survivor and I'll grab this third one and then what I want to do is bring you guys over to a location very close to this spot where we get all the supplies you're gonna need for your horse so you come down here max out on your horse survivor and then all you need to do is take a short ride north and we're gonna get up towards let's see what it's called Rattlesnake Fork. Oh, see, there's someone already farming it right now. That's all right. We'll head up there, and then we'll load into another session. And up there is a great, great place to get all the things you need for your horse. Stamina, medicine, etc. All that stuff, you can get it up there. Eh. And uh, it has, like, two full batches of each set of items. So it's really, really good. On my way up there, though, I just want to say, um, you guys, if you have any tips or anything for better loot locations or things like that i'm really it's, it's really helpful and i'm open to any advice that you guys have for um better loot locations xp grinding just in general playing red dead 2 online if you have advice leave it in the comments i know that some people come to the channel and they're new and then they'll go surf the comments and you guys can be really helpful um and, and guiding those new players on top of that often i mean i'm only level 32 i often work on a bunch of side of things where i'm just like 
uh, XP farming or money farming or something and I'm testing those things out so there's some things out that, that I miss out on the uh, like the PvP side of the game and etc that it's very helpful for you guys to give me a little bit of info on so I would appreciate that if you do have something leave it down below let's see I think this guy looted this spot already let's go take a look real quick no he didn't so he didn't loot this spot at all but if we take a look right here he just murdered someone he just murdered someone and left. If we take a look right here, you can see we have horse stimulant, oat cakes. You really are never going to need to buy another horse item again. Medicine, and you can get your a reviver up here. Now, this location doesn't, to my knowledge, doesn't work like the other locations. I haven't been able to get it to reproduce the items without reloading. But there's so much to grab here that it makes it worth to reload your lobby. Horse medicine. Horse Survivor, and another Horse Stimulant. And then if we re reload, we're gonna see that it's all freshed up. And if you somehow don't know to, don't know what this to do, no, don't know how to do this, just go to o online and load your free, um, free roam. Okay, we loaded back in, slightly farther away. I'm just gonna run back up there and get those items again. One thing to note about this area, there's all these other buildings here, but I can't I still haven't figured out how to get inside of them. There's so many doors here um, But none of them open and you can't like shoot off the locks or anything It's 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 an area where in the future. I would expect Rockstar to Add something into here that one of the DLCs, you know, I don't I don't expect this to come anytime soon But this is like one of those areas where we've talked about in the past buildings that aren't used that can be utilized with DLCs later in the later down the line like GTA has done with so many different parts of their game this is one of those areas you can't get in you can however let's see yeah this door is locked too yeah checking all the doors it would suck to, if someone was in there it just sounds like someone's trying to break in and kill you wild west you're out here all on your own in the desert someone comes banging on your door no sir please we don't want uh, so you can get on top, but there's really I mean <laughs> there ain't shit up here It's just kind of cool that you can climb on top of this building 360 no scope Okay, you can't do 360 So we'll get this loot over here, and then what I want to do is quickly ride down to tumbleweed This is such a good spot right here. This is such a good spot for getting the horse stuff there This is the best spot in the game um, when it comes to getting that horse stuff now, you're not going to be going around to loot locations really for money There's just not an effective way uh, to, to get money in my mind Now I'm gonna go check how much the horse survivor is worth because that might actually be a, a worthwhile endeavor when if, if we can sell it for a good price, but No loot location is super good for money. You'll save yourself a ton of money though if you use a location like this uh, instead of buying these items in the general store buying the stuff in the general store isn't worthwhile if I just let's pull up the inventory and take a look Look at this. We have 13 revivers seven medicines 10 stamina is like this this in, in oat cakes too. 10 of those So making a trip here and taking the time to reload your lobby three or four times You're gonna be really set and then if you go down to the the spot I showed you at the beginning of the video you're never gonna need a horse survivor again, which is nice because the worst thing that can happen is you don't have insurance You don't have horse survivor your horse dies and you can't ride around on your horse for another four seven minutes Whatever however long the timer is it's quite annoying And I was actually surprised to find out when I bought my horse insurance horse insurance doesn't prevent your horse from dying It just pays the vet automatically when your horse dies, which is like what the, why would I ever need this like what you're gonna the horse insurance costs 125 bucks. The vet bill costs like four bucks, seven bucks. How many times is my horse gonna die that it'll be worthwhile to get horse insurance? Maybe if I played Red Dead Online for three years, my horse would die enough times, bro. Like, what? So, I guess besides the point, you know? <laughs> besides the point. Because you realize you only have to pay your vet bill when you're the one that kills your horse. When someone else kills your horse, you don't have to do shit. You don't have to pay anything. Ay, 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 ay. That's one of the most backwards things. I, ho I thought horse insurance was going to keep my horse alive. I bought it before I did the mini game on the channel. We did, like, this 
horse jousting thing, and then what happens? I don't need it. All right. So I'm pulling in here to the general store, and I just want to pop in here and see how much this horse survivor is worth and if we can sell it, because then this might actually be a good way of making money. Aye! She's not even let me... She didn't even acknowledge I joined the so shop, walked in the shop, and she's not going to let me sell anything to her? <laughs> Stupid. Well, the butcher's not going to take horse insurance. Is there... Can you sell horse insurance? I thought that was a thing. Maybe it's only a thing in the campaign. Horse insurance. Horse reviver. Maybe it's only a thing in the campaign, man. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. And I'm surprised. Tumbleweed's known for griefers. These guys aren't griefing me at all. I'm gonna fast travel real quick and go to the fence. See if he'll... he'll see if he'll... I can sell him horse reviver. Alright. Well, I'm here at the fence... Let's see if this dude is going to buy some useless stuff off me that I can get very easily. No! No! All right. You can't make money off of it, but it's very helpful to get so you don't need to spend money on it. Thank you guys for watching the video and supporting the channel in our recent growth. Like I say, we really, really appreciate it. Glad to having you guys in this community. Looking forward to building this up. And as much feedback as you guys can give in the comments on places to go, things to do in Red Dead Online. Truly appreciate that as well. Take care and hope to see you in a future video.